guys welcome back to your simile point today's topic is glucagonoma uh, before starting I request you to subscribe to my channel okay let me start with this physiology so I will be discussing briefly about the important points related to your simile so let me start with the physiology Physiology glucagon is secreted under the influence of various factors. The most important of these is the reduced blood glucose concentration. So whenever there is a decrease in the glucose in the body, the glucagon is stimulated. So what now you tell me what is the function of glucagon is to increase the blood glucose level, right? Good. So what does it do? Physiology. The glycogenolysis activation with contemporary glycolysis inhibition and activation of gluconeogenesis it does anything to increase the glucose level that's it stimulation of lipolysis and catecholamine secretion inhibition of gastric secreting activity pancreatic secreting activity and GI motility stimulation of urinary excretion of water and phosphates as well as sodium calcium and magnesium ions so remember this Diabetes mellitus occurs in the patients with glucagonoma because of the lack of equilibrium between insulin production and a glucagon production. So this is very important point you need to memorize because uh, they give the history of a diabetes mellitus patient and the sign and symptoms of glucagonoma. So you need to know that patient can have diabetes mellitus with patient of uh, glucagonoma. Okay. Okay, the signs and symptoms are how the patient presents to you. Neosomal is a weight loss, diabetes mellitus, diarrhea, stomatitis. The cutaneous lesions are very important. In this phase of disease, can easily be confused with a non-specific dermatitis. So try to memorize the skin manifestations of uh, glucagonoma. Very important finding. Okay, that's the skin manifestation. What I was talking was necrolytic migratory arrhythmia. NME it runs in the stages that's very important sorry for the interruption actually uh, I'm sorry okay let me start again so this rash in the glucagonomite runs in the stages that's very important you need to remember the stages how it runs so it runs in the first is a macro maculopapular rash ring lesions and the blisters that breach after a few days as well as possibly postural evolution due to bacterial superinfection so superinfection can occur due to bacteria very important the these lesions are often confluent evolve in a period of one to two weeks and are strongly pruritic and painful remember pruritic and the painful very important symptoms mm. but it runs in the stages so they sometimes they can give us a maculopapular rash that's it the sign and symptoms of diabetes mellitus and glucagonoma remember they hail with a hyperpigmentation very important points so what you need to remember in your glucagonoma is diabetes mellitus and a skin manifestation manifestations remember this very important point is venous thrombosis thrombosis dvt can occur in the patients with migratory uh, sorry uh, glucagonoma it's a 3d not a it's a 4d not a 3d tv okay not a led so i'm talking about a 4d what is 4d 4d is a syndrome consists of a diabetes dermatitis dvt and a depression okay this is what is associated with the uh, glucagonoma Okay, so remember important points MEN type 1 syndrome seen in the family of ME1, MEN1. Um, actually, the cause is not known, that's why, but the glucagonoma has been seen more often in uh, patients with a family history of uh, MEN type 1 syndrome. Okay, lab tests. The first thing what do you do is measure the glucagon level in the body, right? That's very important. Okay, next what you do? Rule out the diabetes mellitus, fasting blood sugar and our glucose tolerance test. Good. Determine the level of transaminases, bilirubin, alkaline phosphatase. Why? To know the hepatic metastasis. Very important. The serum level of chromogranin A for sensitivity test has recently been developed. Chromogranin A for a sensitivity. Sometimes they can ask me which of the following is a sensitive test for this uh, glucagonoma remember about that chromogranin a the investigation what you can do is the angiography ct and mri okay so if you combine then it's good angiography with a ct or angiography with mri they will give the definitely the best results 
so what is the gold standard of accurate accurate test is a biopsy remember okay how do you treat it remember there is the only one treatment for this is the octreotide is the only drug available in the whole world is the most commonly used very important okay so other things which you can use is a doxorubicin and streptozot sorry streptozotocin uh, these are the drugs are used when it is, there is a history when there is a spread of a malignancy when there is a malignancy, malignancy has spread to the liver or adjusting organs so this can be used um, okay uh, i think i'm done with this uh, please let me know about this video please do subscribe i'm sorry for the interruption in between i'm really very really sorry thank you for watching my video thank you